Hey loves, welcome back. Okay, so today's video is like a testy trial, first impressions, try it out thing. That was a nice intro. Right, you do this in sections. I am very low maintenance with my hair. I'm not very skilled when it comes to hair. I have super curly hair and I have it thermal straightened once a year for ease for me. Sometimes a dream of having that big voluminous hair. I'm rubbish at backcombing, can't do it. The inner Kelly Kapowski in me just wants that 80s, 80s vibe. So I was wandering through Boots in the UK and saw this. First of all, this beautiful lady stopped me in my tracks. Her hair is ginormous and I was like what is this thing and then I looked it's called the hair shark and it's a pro back coma and you know I had to buy it and try it right it says it's a revolutionary dual-sided design for maximum volume no bird's nest it literally says that no bird's nest no mess no mess just beautiful voluminous hair who doesn't want that this was 19.99 and I am positive it's probably going to be the best 19.99 I've ever spent. Turn up the volume. So let's turn up the volume shall we gang. Uh, it says hair sharking is as easy as one, two, three. I'm not convinced if hair sharking is the most um, attractive of phrases but maybe it's because the comb's got a lot of teeth. I don't know. Um, it says goodbye to rollers. I can't use rollers. No thanks to sticky gunk filled hair. I don't like gunk filled hair. Uh, who, I don't know who would like gunk filled hair. It's time to turn up the volume with the hair shark. Our professional backcombing brush features a dual sided design that creates tangle free volume in seconds and lasts up to 24 hours. <laughs> no bird's nest, no mess, just beautiful, shiny, voluminous hair. Let's get it out. Well. Oh Lord, it's in there, it is in there, here it is, secured with more stuff, I think, just rip it off, mm. so we've got a weapon, one end, it is plastic, this side there's this kind of teethy thing, and then this side there's bristles and more things, right, it says separate a section of the hair using the sectioning handle tip. Sectioning handle tip. Start at the crown and work forward to create around five sections. <laughs> Hold each section three quarters of the way up using the volumizing side, this side. Gently brush the hair from the back down towards the root to build height. I've got no idea. Use the smoothing shine side to lightly brush it. So, I don't know if you can see this picture. This is slightly terrifying. Come on, Jamel, that, that looks like a bird's nest, but this looks wonderful. What I want is, you know, sometimes sleek and straight is nice, but sometimes we want some oomph. So I'm gonna start at the crown. I'm gonna get this here, lift that up. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Get this bit, you can't even see. And then I'm going to, oh, guys. Oh God, I am fearful of how we're gonna brush this out. Oh, but who cares? Oh, I should have maybe left the bits to cover it over with. Right, this is creating matte, like, oh, this is creating quite, a lot of there we go and then you smooth it down with this end what the? oh lord right i've got no idea because there is absolutely zero smoothing going along there oh. listen i told you i'm not skilled but this is a good test because i'm probably the world's worst at hair. My hairdresser, lovely Vince, is probably watching this cringing. I'm sorry, Vince. I'll be back in tomorrow for you can fix my hair. Oh, right. I'm not sure. That, that, no. 
let's try over here. So I'm going to section it. It says in five sections. Gee. I'll start under here because I, I, let's, let's, let's give some, let's give it some. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Right. You hold it up and then you do this, right? Am I doing this right? Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm seeing some volume. Right, you do this in sections. Well, I'm done. This is probably the best thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. <laughs> right, let's do that. Then we're going to get another section. I'm so sorry, hair. Oh, I'll treat you to a hair mask later. It's all going to be fine. Hold on. Another section under here. We do the same with this bit, right? Some of you are watching thinking, Jesus, I thought this was a proper hair tutorial. Who is this idiot? It's me. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Because frankly, I'm ruining my hair and saving you the effort and the energy. And subscribe because this is, you know, clearly I create quality content. I mean, it, it definitely works. If you can hear that noise, that's my hair shafts screaming for their dear life. No, it's raining outside. Right. And I'm not looking like this woman. She is full of confidence and volume. I'm just homeless. It's fine. Let's just keep going. We're in, we're in it now. I'm gonna do some more over here. Oh god. I am so fearful of how we how we're can you come round and help me guys? How we're gonna brush this out. I feel like we need some here. Right now, I'm going to leave this section on top so I don't look completely crazy. Uh, when brushed down the hair, it creates a soft supporting cushion. You could call it a cushion. You could you could call it a cushion. The only thing that are going to rest their weary little heads on that is like knits. Painted shark fin bristles glide over the hair, leaving all the volume intact, but produce glossy shine. I'm not convinced so say why well, do i have it part right are you ready for it now we're going to get this sharky bit and we're going to glide it over i've actually got a little bit of volume all right come on let's do a bit more because i'm i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel i know i'm i, I know i'm now not following the instructions i know that Oh, well, I'll have ever done it. <laughs> Someone got a bit carried away. I'm not going to lie. It feels a bit like a matted bird nest under there. But I, I don't not like that. But I mean, there is some volume. So my final thoughts on the Hair Shark Pro Back Coma. Is it the greatest hair tool I've ever seen? No. Is it something I'll be using daily? Also no. Does it work? Yeah, it does. Um, it does work. I think if you had a curl in your hair or a wave, it will do better. It's just feeling really knotted and I, I kind of know that's what backcombing does. It tangles up the hair to, to create a pillow of volume. As I'm sat here, my volume is slowly fading like my hopes and dreams of having big hair. I know I've probably used it wrong. I know that. And I know I... I'm very impatient. But I want to just I just wanted to look like that, god damn it. I just think it'd be easier just to roll around on the floor for a bit on a static carpet. <sighs> might might do the same job. Thanks for watching. We had to we had to try. We had to try. I think I might have just said you 1999. So there's that. There is that. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll speak to you very soon. Take care guys.